issues on San Francisco streets are getting much of the attention. It's not the only city struggling with blight and open air drug use. Taking a live look in San Jose. People living in the downtown area say they're increasingly seeing similar problems. Some have started to record it in hopes of getting more attention for the problems. Damien Tudillo has that video and he joins us from 3rd and San Fernando streets with the story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area. Neighbors tell me they're at a loss. What do they do next? Many wonder what all of this is doing to their property values. The cell phone video captures it all. People outside this 7-Eleven on 3rd and San Fernando streets openly using illegal drugs. Neighbors say it happens during the day and night, one block from the San Jose State campus and one block from City Hall. It's terrible. It is absolutely horrible. It's inhumane. It's unfair to the residents that live in this building. The building he's talking about is the Paseo Villas. Tom Nixon is a member of the Homeowners Association Board. The villas are luxury condos, home to corporate executives and other Silicon Valley professionals. Nixon is also a realtor. It's terrible. What's it done to our values? You know, we want to do an open house. You're going to do an open house, and on a Sunday afternoon, you got 10 people camped out front. People are going to walk by that and go, no, I don't want to take a look at that. That's terrible. Why would I want to live in that situation? Neighbors say they feel like downtown San Jose is turning into San Francisco. A clerk at the 7-Eleven told me he's tired of fighting with the people who hang out in his store and outside of it. The HOA itself often hoses down the sidewalk to the luxury condos. San Jose police tell me they patrol the area often on foot and in cruisers. Well, I think they should be worried. I think the, the primary issue at hand isn't necessarily resources or uh, arresting the problem away. It's much bigger than that. Police say it's a constant challenge and mental health plays a big role. In the last month, police say they've only received nine calls for service in that area. Minutes after I called police today to ask for comment on the neighborhood complaints, officers arrived on scene and arrested one man for an outstanding warrant. For we're the face of the justice system. Beyond that, there's incarceration and rehabilitation. There's the court system. Police say the city can't arrest its way out of the issue. And when they do respond for calls here, any alleged perpetrator is often gone. But Tom Nixon says officers sometimes just move the culprits down the street. And he says he gets frustrated when they come right back days or even hours later. You've got a bunch of homeless people living out front partying, doing drugs. Urinating, defecating. In San Jose, Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.